You guys tired of riding around put, 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 on your little bitty lawn tractor? Check out this zero turn. Once you go zero turn, you don't go back. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. It's Tool Tuesday, one of my favorite days on the channel, and today we've got an awesome tool from Toro. This is the new Toro Titan Max Zero Turn Mower, and today we're gonna go around it, we're gonna take it for a spin, we're actually gonna use it out here on the farm, and we're gonna tell you guys what we think about it, talk about all the features, and have some fun here on Tool Tuesdays on the Stony Ridge. All right, woo! For those of you who are new to the Stony Ridge Farm channel, this is the Stony Ridge Farm. We're on 150 acres of first generation cattle farm. We're starting a first generation farm here, among other things. It's all country stuff. It's rural content at its best. So please jump in, pound the like button, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you back here on the farm with us. Turf is just part of what goes on on the farm. And when you've got a yard that's nearly three acres to five acres, <laughs> it depends on how frisky I get with mowing, um, you need a nice mower. So what we have here again is the Toro Titan Max. It's a really awesome machine. I have yet to hit a blade of grass with this thing. So today's gonna be the first trial run of this machine. I am going to mow the front yard and the front side yard right here with it. We're gonna walk around, give you some of the features and talk about this. This is an all new machine from Toro for this year. So we've got a lot of cool upgraded features on it. It is the prosumer grade. In other words, this is the Max homeowner grade mower from Toro. So thanks a lot to Toro for reaching out to me and getting this mower out to the farm for us to demo. Our local mower dealership for Toro mowers is Eden Lawnmower in Eden, North Carolina. So big shout out to those guys too. Very nice people. They came out here and delivered this unit. What we've got is a Kohler Command 7000 Pro Series 26 horsepower engine right here. This is the non-fuel injected engine and <laughs> it sounds like a Harley, man. It's like, <laughs> I really, really like it. It's a really stout engine. And when it comes to zero turns, if you're going with an engine that's less than 26 horsepower, you're probably not gonna be happy with your zero turn, okay? So 26 horsepower is kind of the cutoff from the uh, consumer grade mower up to the professional grade mower and this is a prosumer model again this is the top of the line consumer grade mower for the guy that has anywhere from a half acre to five acres this thing is nice and it's really pretty and robust it's made well it has a lot of different accents and features you can see the 23 inch tires here you've probably never seen a zero turn with tires like this this is like an all-terrain type turf tire it's designed to help keep from tearing up your lawn. So zero turn mowers are, they're a little bit different bird. They're a little bit different to learn how to operate. So as you turn, you're gonna tear up your lawn. This tire is designed to keep from tearing up your lawn. You can run a little bit lower tire pressure on this thing and you can keep from tearing up your lawn and still get the grip that you want. And we're on a hillside right here. So oftentimes we'll turn up a hill and with a regular zero turn tire, you're gonna spin up the yard. So that's what that's all about. This 26 horsepower engine is plenty of power for this mower. Going through a few more features, very, very easy to access oil filter and oil change. There's a tube here for changing the oil so you don't have to get it all over your machine. Thank you, Toro. Lots of thought process went into this. This is the cover. You can remove this cover and clean this area right here if you need to, if you get grass blown back on you on a windy day, like today. <laughs> we might be wearing a grass necklace by the end of the day. Here's where you check your oil, and here's your hydraulic fluid reservoir. So underneath the machine is how you access all your hydraulics. The muffler actually blows outward, out this way, not downward into the grass, so that's pretty cool. Uh, easy access to your air filters right here. Just pop a cover off, very simple, bam, there's your air filter. And yeah, it's clean as a whistle. You got a foam pad and you also have a filter element underneath there. So you've got a pre-filter and a filter. And just as easy to reinstall, even on the fly, <laughs> in the blind. I've never even taken that cover off, so super easy. Access to your battery, bam, right there. You don't have to remove covers and stuff like that. When it comes to storing your mower, 
over the winter time, a lot of times people don't put a trickle charger on it, and if you don't do that, you're liable to end up with a dead battery. Easy to access, you're not having to take any panels off. Awesome. Let's get around to the front of the mower. We'll talk about the seating, and we'll talk about the rollover protection system. All right, again, we're around to the front side of the mower, and you can see the different accents, like this Toro accent, that metal plate. That's something that doesn't have to be there. It just looks nice. The fit and finish on this mower is really nice. Now we've got a six inch steel deck with a bull nose on the front of it. Our wheels, our caster wheels are here. If you're one of those guys that likes to mow with this up, you can easily strap that up, no problem. You've got settings right here for how high you want to mow, and basically you just step on this pedal. We're gonna sit in the seat in just a minute and talk about how the seat is bolstered. It's really, really nice, comfortable, and ergonomic. Ergonomics means everything when it comes to mowing your yard, when it comes to getting out here and getting beat to death on a lawnmower. In other words, you want to be comfortable and everything should be accessed at easy points on any machine that you use. You should be able to depend on your machine. You should also be able to depend on the fact that everything is ergonomically placed on that machine. So let's take a look at the operator station real quick. So you can see your throttle handle, you push forward and it kind of jumps into full throttle and that's where you want to mow. We've only got a half hour of time on this and you can see you've got indicators right here so if you're ready to start. If I pull, turn the key on, all these will indicate, well actually it has 12.5 hours, okay, 12.5 volts, awesome. Uh, it tells you that I'm not sitting in the seat right there so you've got a driver information system going on. Now you'll hear the PTO engage, very, very simple, and the light for PTO will go off. Very, very cool. So that's it. That's the operator station, very simple. You've got an extra place for a light switch and an extra place for a charging outlet, and also right behind, you have a place that you can store things. So if you need to store a phone or something like that, you could store it right there while you charged it. So if you need to access underneath here and blow this out or get access to your spindles, all that's right there. Your belt's right here, your belt tension, everything is good to go. There's actually a diagram down in here. Again, very, very well built. Our serial number and information is right here. You have a nice step here and a nice rubber mat for stepping on right here. You also have on your foot pedal, it's, uh, it's raised right there so your foot can gain traction on it. Some of these are slick as snot and some of them use a uh, two-sided tape right here or a uh, skateboard type tape. That just does not last. It simply does not last. The seat is very nice, very plush, it feels good. It feels like good material and it's bolstered on the sides to keep your butt from sliding off the seat. Most of these have just a flat old plain seat and it's bolstered on these sides. I'm a big guy and this is really gonna hold me in place on this machine. So we've got a step on the deck right here. We can step up or we can enter through the front of this mower. It is comfortable as can be. Fully adjustable seat. I can slide forward and slide back. So Mrs. Stony Ridge can easily operate this machine. I'm gonna go all the way back. I'm about 6'5". You can see we're in the highest settings right here. These are fully adjustable, so if you're a smaller person, you can get these handles down just a little bit further. You've got nice, comfortable armrest here. In other words, it makes it so much easier to have somewhere to rest your elbows as you're operating the zero turn. Right down here, you have a handbrake. This brake also serves as a kill switch if you accidentally have these engaged and uh, try to move forward with the brake set it will kill it okay that's safety features you got a nice cup holder you got a place for your phone right here you've got an easy access filler nozzle right here our key our pto i mean i don't even have to move my hand off the armrest in order to engage the pto shaft you got a foot pedal right here that's for raising and lowering your deck you also have a lock right here so in case i need to go over a curb or something like that or there's a stick or a rock or something in the lawn i can raise it up it automatically locks in case i'm loading it on a trailer also now you can fully adjust all the way from one to five inches of height we're probably going to mow somewhere in the four and a half inch range today this is going to be our first time mowing on the farm I uh, would anticipate that we're not mowing a whole lot. I did clean the flower beds off, so we have a whole lot of junk to blast through, and that helps to feed the lawn. Instead of putting fertilizer down, we wanna put down biologic material. So that's what's up. Let's fire this thing up and show you guys how she starts and how she runs. She purred like a kitten. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've got the parking brake engaged. I can let that machine sit there and warm up to good operating temperature before we start mowing. What we've got to mow 
is right here in the front of the house, which has a little bit of a steep hill, and then all this right in here. So we're gonna toss the drone up in the air and get you a little bit of footage. A couple things that I really like about the operator station on this is that the ergonomics of the throttle. The throttle has a detent in it of some sort that you know when you're in full throttle. You push forward and it goes clink and kind of sets in the area so you know you have it in full throttle. Let's go for a cruise, let's have some fun. This thing did awesome. Holy cow. Uh, let me tell you, once you go zero turn, you don't go back, guys. I rode around on this lawn right here with the, you saw the drone footage, but put, 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 put on a little put, put lawnmower. Once you go zero turn, you simply don't go back. This thing is awesome. I totally forgot to mention the fuel level there's an indicator right down here for the fuel level you can see it as you get on and off the tractor it's difficult to see as you're looking down here but I'm sure you could probably tell if you're getting low of fuel very very happy with the machine I'm uh, getting it dirty and this is the first mow of the year so let's step off and take a look back it looks awesome you'll see dirt piles in the background that's our garden right over there and we've got another little garden spot that we had to get rid of some stumps and we've got some dirt piled up right there so that's what those dirt piles are but man great job titan max this is the man zero turn or a woman zero turn guys when you're going to go buy a zero turn go to a reputable dealer don't go to a zero turn place to the big box store and buy some old garbage zero turn for 2500 bucks because you're gonna regret it this is a zero turn it's gonna last you five, six, 10 years if you take good care of it, 15 years maybe. So think about that when you're making your purchase. You're making a quote unquote lifetime purchase. So the Titan Max, I think the MSRP is somewhere around six grand. Don't quote me on that. I'll post a link down the video description for you. Super happy. It's a very good looking mower. Love the red paint, love the red and black. It really pops. I was afraid that the black would get real dirty, but it looks just fine. So guys, we gotta blow this critter off. Gotta do a little bit of weed whacking and we're done. America, made in America. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. I hope you enjoy Tool Tuesday. Pound that like button. I'd love to have you back. All right, yeah, woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife.